Situgen, a revolution in cord blood stem cell collection. This video provides a general introduction to the Situgen collection procedure. During actual collection, please follow the instructions and steps in the printed user guide. Welcome to the Situgen user guide video. Please allow a few minutes for this presentation. Before we begin our training, take a look at the entire collection procedure in three simple steps. Preparation and insertion of the cord into the device. Disinfection. And finally, collection. You will receive two separate blister packs in which each item is sterile and placed in its own pouch. One is the Situgen kit, which includes the Situgen collection device. The other is the Situ kit, which includes all the peripheral accessories. These items are separated into three compartments based on the three procedure steps, preparation, disinfection and collection. The Situgen device in the first left side blister is supplied in two separate parts, an upper part and a lower part, also referred to as the clear chamber. In the second right side divided blister, the first compartment holds all the items that assist in the preparation stage in order of usage, two clamps, a ruler and scissors. The second compartment contains all the items that assist in disinfecting the device and cord, a syringe with chlorhexidine solution as well as small and large alcohol preps for cleaning the umbilical cord. Finally, the third compartment holds all the items for final collection and delivery to the lab, a blood collection bag with anticoagulant and a plastic sealing tape bag. Let's begin. First, carefully open the Situgen blister pack and remove the upper part from its pouch. Open the hook and place it on a clean working station. Now remove the lower part of the device and place it on your working surface near the upper part. Then open the Situ kit blister. Following birth and immediately after clamping the cord on the infant's side, place the green clamps one inch, that's about two centimeters apart and clamp the cord. Cut the cord between the two clamps using the scissors. Now hold the bottom end of the cord and drain the blood towards the placenta by milking it upwards about 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Press and hold the umbilical cord in order to prevent the blood from dripping back down the cord. While tightly holding the cord, remove the ruler from the kit and measure 5 inches, that's 12.5 centimeters, upward from the clamp. Clamp above the drained area using the additional clamp, allowing the cord to hang freely. Remove the lower clamp from the cord. Now, while holding the cord, thoroughly wipe the bottom part several times using the two large alcohol preps, one after the other. This step is crucial in order to remove all traces of maternal cells. From your work surface, pick up the upper part of the Situgen device, open it slightly, and place the cord onto the absorbent paper with a clamp adjacent to it. Carefully fix the clamp onto the pin at the top of the device. Make sure that at least two inches or five centimeters of cord are hanging off the end and carefully close the device. Now pick up the lower part of the Situgen device from your work surface. Insert the end of the cord into the device's clear chamber in order to connect the two units. If necessary, you can use your finger to push it through. Make sure the end of the cord appears in the clear bottom chamber. Lock the two parts by turning the top part in the direction of the lock arrow until it locks into the teeth of the lower part. Now slightly loosen the clamp until you see a drop of blood entering the clear chamber. Then quickly retighten the clamp.
Now we will disinfect the cord tip and chamber. Pick up the syringe with the chlorhexidine solution and securely connect it to the bottom of the device by screwing in the two connectors. Inject the solution until the clear chamber is completely full and a few drops exit the right hand filter. Because of filter rejection, injection may require some effort. Now with the syringe still connected to the device, wait for about 10 seconds to allow the solution to disinfect the chamber and the tip of the cord. Next, drain all of the solution back into the same syringe. Disconnect the syringe from the device and discard it. In order to begin collection, pick up the collection bag with anticoagulant agent and connect it to the bottom part of the device. Position and hang the device anywhere under the mother. The blood bag should be positioned under the device. Please make sure the cord is loose. Now open the clamp to allow free blood flow. Allow the blood to flow through the clear chamber and then into the blood bag. Blood should now flow freely. During collection, it is essential to frequently milk the umbilical cord towards the device by holding the cord with one hand and milking with the other. Continue to collect as much blood as possible by milking the cord. Remember, every drop counts. Once collection is completed, disconnect the bag and carefully shake it to mix the blood with the anticoagulant. Hack the blood-filled bag into the sealing tape bag and forward it to the lab as required by procedure. Thank you for your attention. For further information, check the printed user guide included in your collection kit. Situgen, a revolution in cord blood stem cell collection.